A bientôt. A bien, à bientôt. A tes logo. A tes logo, a tes logo. Français. Français Français Ouais, ça c'est. Ça c'est. Liberté. Liberté Reformado. So you don't. You don't have a home back in Britain No home. No garden. Well, you do have a home. Yeah. That's really impressive. That's the life of freedom. So you never get tired of living on the road? No. No? You get tired of the same neighbors? Exactly. That's true, that's true. How long have you lived in this? Oh, about four years. Four years? Yeah. And you travel all the way, all around the world? All, well, all over Europe. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. What's up, my boys? Today we are staying in this place. <laughs> no, we're not. But we are doing something just as cool as that. Because we... We can't do anything cooler than this. No. We can, but we are going to discover Alan Tejo, and I am excited because we went here the other day on a little uh, cozy stroll in the car on our way home from the hotel. But it kind of got ruined because Jon forgot his wallet. Apparently, my wallet and driver's license is at the hotel. I merely forgot it. How dare you? You you left it. Who would leave it? Uh, you forgot it. I asked you. You didn't. I asked you. Do you have everything? Have you checked? Shut up, you. Shut up. So we had to stop what we did. So now we are back to do it. And I am. <coughs> I'm a little sick today, but. Um... Suck it in. We all got problems. Shut up. Four years traveling around that, Amelia. I've been romanticizing about doing yes, that, yeah. but it's like that I have so many questions in terms of practicalities. You know, do you have to clean your own shit yes, every you day? Do. Yes, and you do. how do you get new water? What about Wi-Fi, electricity? You can always, you know, camp a place that has. Yes, but do you know how expensive it is it to is camp? It is so expensive. And that's one of the problems, actually, because yes. usually it's illegal to just park uh, somewhere. Uh, and camp and especially in that <laughs> it's like a tour bus for celebrities <laughs> anyway after the, the we we drove through the uh, lentesho on our way back uh, from um, land we 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 really fell in love with the idyllic atmosphere of alentejo so we decided that let's let's come back and um, catch the atmosphere and yeah suck in the nature because it's 16 degrees sun is kind of sh sh shining so we took the car uh, to uh, Alsacer do Sal and then we drove up here and now we are at the Pego de Alfa, Al Albufeira, the road. You, you are here. Pretty well. So by the way, we haven't planned out anything today. We are just driving around and stopping where the road takes us. That's also one of the days that I personally appreciate the most because you don't know what's coming for you exactly. And uh, this was uh, just a random place we found. And we've, I've been talking with some of you guys and where to go in Alentejo. And apparently the most interesting stuff in Alentejo is close to the Spanish border. Yeah. And on a day trip, like 200 kilometers both ways, it's is a little too much. Yeah, it's a long but at drive. At least when you started 11, when we started. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The, um, when when we when it gets summer again and the days are longer, then but, it would make sense because the also, sun doesn't set before eight. But also, we should have an Airbnb when we're there. Just just a cheap Airbnb yeah. to get the most out of it. But let's uh, drive to the next place and see if there is something good. Yeah. Move on. So we just found a road that we thought was interesting. So we took a right turn on from the main road and now we are at a very like off-road, kind of remote road. <laughs> Oops. But it's pretty cool because we chose the right car for us because it has 4x4. I'm so happy we didn't uh, go with the 
with a convertible car. <laughs> what, the, what does Zona de Caca Turistica mean? Zona de Caca Associata, Zona de Caca Turistica. So we just Google it and it means tourist hunting zone. So they are hunting tourists here. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I guess it's okay, no? Life is for the adventure. princess is driving the car so I can fly the drone and uh, I'm so happy that uh, you're driving because this is a true drone epic Adventure. spot so beautiful you it's like a hybrid between Namibia and Australia and it's Africa so beautiful. Africa. And Africa yeah uh, it's one of, so one of uh, our uh, best our best friend uh, in, in Portugal says that Alentejo is the closest you get to the African savanna just without all the creepy animals <laughs> uh, uh, we hope Very but it's cool. like when you get up like you don't really feel how in the middle of nowhere you are until you see it from above from the drone yeah um, that's insane and that that really gives you a special feeling when you're here and now we're so in the middle of nowhere that we honestly don't even know how to find our way back it's three o'clock now the sun is setting in two hours yeah like this is so in the middle of nowhere that we don't there's no there's no roads here this is actually a problem Come on. See you guys. <laughs> so the car is heading towards this road here and uh, hopefully uh, then we'll be back at uh, civilization because otherwise we're gonna we be we're gonna be stuck here yeah. for uh, dinner <laughs> This is one of the things that it's just it's such a fairy tale like look how the light is coming in Oh it looks so dope It's like a fairy tale world it looks so soft it's like a green cloud We oh. just need some little trolls Yeah that would be we have you Oh are you enjoying riding the car Yeah I am it's fun it's fun in this kind of uh, terrain because terrain, 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 terrain. I know what we should do, Jon. We should go to a third place of today, which should contain much more water. Because El Tisho has a lot of sides to it. So there is this place. I think we have the same in mind. It starts with C and it ends with A. There's a P in it too and an M and an O. That's all you get. We're still driving um, <laughs> at this road. We have no idea how far we are from an actual road. <laughs> we just met the first car since we entered here, so that must be a good sign. Or maybe he's just on his way back home from hunting. <laughs> he, Who did knows? The, he did the same mistake as us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a two-hour detour. I mean, stop here, stop here. <laughs> we had a big road now, so... Um, yes, we made it. Back in P, Amelia. Park. It isn't pee. He's making so much fun of me. I have done this so well and he's a fucking moron. I just, I, so I just said that you were driving very well. How many years have you been driving? Uh, and you still don't drive very well. So stop it. Well, if you want me to drive you as if you are Queen Elizabeth, then no, I'm not a good driver. But if you want me to drive you like I'm a real man, hell of a driver. Can you just be heavy? I allowed you to drive. No. Um, <laughs> do we know how far it is to this place we're going? I have no idea. <coughs> Can you shut up, Amelia? <coughs> There's 46 minutes to where we're going, and um, it's a surprise. 
but uh, but we tonight or at sunset we want to finally catch the sunset because the last couple of times it's been like a blanket of clouds that has ruined it so now we are gonna take revenge because well we're not gonna jinx it let's just go Welcome to Comporta. This is um, this is the Madonna Beach. So Comporta is um, it's like a half island, and it's a well kept secret and a current hideaway for celebrities and rich uh, people. So we really fit in here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but we drove all the way out to the end of the um, peninsula. So we are on the tip now, that's what she said. Setubal over there, you have the Arabida Natural Park over there. And then on the other side of where we're going now, we should have a clean beach for miles. We also wanted to go here because we wanted to show the, you know, the, the diversity of Alentejo. So you can, you can go on the African savanna and then you can go you know, on, on a- the Maldives beach. Yeah. Life is good, even with the flu. Doggy, come say hi, doggy. Hello. very well. It's a perfect way of ending your Ellen Teshur adventure day and basically what we have done today was exactly what we wanted. We wanted to take in all the nature that Ellen Teshur has to offer. You can take this as a little uh, appetizer to what we are gonna do in 2000 and oh my god you're fixing up. Egan. Are you feeling well? Man? No I'm feeling really really bad. After our romantic Alentejo getaway, we felt like we didn't really show much more than the place we were staying. So, I mean, this vlog was more like a, <coughs> a, a caption of the experience we had on the day of checkout. Yeah. Driving through the incredible... Green nature! Yeah, it's, it, it's just, for us, it's incredible... <laughs> For us, that is some of the things we appreciate the most in life. We feel at one with the world. <laughs> I feel in one with my bed right now. That's the only place I want to be. So um, Thank that, you so much for watching. Yeah, that was the uh, Lentecio uh, nature vlog. And by the way, tonight we did get the sunset. Woo. Finally. <laughs> At the próximo vlog. Achilego. Achilego. Achilego! Do you want to say goodbye? I think it's camera shy.